Well, we have uh, entered into week eight of the course, and by now things should be making sense. That's my that's my hope for you as um, you come to the end of the course. And so this week, um, you should be able to articulate or explain um, the importance of the Bible story. Remember, um, the story uh, of the scripture is interconnecting with that re redemptive theme. Um, Christ in the scripture and uh, how the stories from the old uh, into the new um, interweave together uh, as uh, one um, one theological theme. Now, there are other theological themes. Uh, we don't want to discount that uh, in, in matters of biblical theology, but this course is designed to show God's story, his, his unpacking of how he uh, intends to save you and I uh, from, from sin. And so, we see glimpses of that in the Old Testament through the sacrifices, uh, through the giving of the law um, and the covenants. And then as we bridge uh, through uh, the prophets and their message to repent and to come back to God. Um, and then finally, um, as we come to the New Testament through the Gospels, Christ is present, his ministry as he interacts with people and the time. And then all the way to the founding of the church in the book of Acts and uh this call for reconciliation, both with Jew and Gentile. So we're, we're living out this story um, to our audience that we picked um, for the conclusion of the course. And so hopefully the theme that you decided to um, write on will connect to that, to that audience that you um, decided early on in the course. Um, you're also going to look at the, the structure of the Bible, meaning how um, it influences your personal life and uh, how that story unfolds in your ministry uh, and wherever your geographical location is at. And so um, as you come to the end, you will have read Vang and Carter. Uh, you should be able to finish the drama of Scripture and be able to explain um, the finality and conclusion made um, from um, the author. And then, um, of course, there are other uh, selected readings that you are required to um, um, consider and look at. Um, but, but in week eight, you are submitting your final biblical theology paper. And uh, that, sh that should be um, wrapping up. And I would encourage you to follow the structure laid out uh, in the directions. So please go to the directions and make sure you are following um, exactly. For example, you should have an introduction, you should have a body, um, and in that body, in many ways, are little headers, or organizational structure, themes that you've chosen uh, for your biblical theology paper. And then you should have a conclusion, just like any um, research paper that you've learned how to write an English composition course. So um, it gives you a framework of, of kind of the, from your rough draft where you should be going and then how you're narrowing your theme down from the old and tying it to the new. And um, again, there were, were a wide variety of subjects you should have um, been able to uh, select and go with, such as uh, sacred space, salvation, um, there is retribution, there's justification, and, and the list um, goes on. Well, I hope, uh, again, I hope the course was an encouragement to you. You find it to be of value. And uh, you can move from here knowing a little bit more of how scriptures can, the scriptures connect together as one theme. And then from those themes, we have different branches from the tree that connect the biblical theology of scripture to life and ministry. May God bless you as you um, end the course. And I'll be looking to grade uh, your final paper uh, in the forthcoming days.